the truth about Matthew Perry, about what really happened. Oh shit! Oh, it's crazy. Yeah. So, as you guys know, Matthew Perry was addicted to substances. Uh, I didn't know that. <laughs> Jeez, really? No. Uh, all the times we've talked about him on here, you didn't know that? No. Uh, so he was placed on prescriptive doses of ketamine to help him wean off the addiction, right? So you do one drug to get another. That's like fucking, hey, I know you're addicted to heroin. I'm going to use some crack to make it go away. <laughs> That's probably how they said it. So uh, what happened is he was placed on these prescriptive doses to help him, like, wean off of the addiction, which is an actual, like, treatment. But... Because he's a celebrity, he Gotta started he started asking for increased doses, and people weren't saying no to him. Yo, ketamine's oh, fucking so. nice, though. <laughs> not that not that you have to be a celebrity to do that, but he started asking for higher doses, and uh, doctors eventually started to refuse completely, and they're just like, "No, you gotta. I'm not doing this for you." But you can find a so, doctor in Hollywood that'll do it. Yes. So he ends up going and seeking out alternative providers oh, no. of the independent or illegal variety. Mm. Uh oh. And uh, that leads him to a situation where um, he got fed now. He no, it doesn't get fed. <laughs> So his assistant would sometimes find him passed out in the house or unable to speak after taking these large doses. One of the crooked doctors who is now being charged to have provided him with more ketamine um, is shown to have sent a text to a supplier saying, I wonder how much this moron will pay. Oh, oh my God. And Matthew Perry ended up spending upwards of 55K for just one month's supply. Oh my God. Uh, that is a lot. The suppliers- I could hook you up for way cheaper, bro. <laughs> the suppliers and doctors- Go to that, Tijuana. The suppliers and doctors that work together with Matthew Perry's personal assistant, uh, when they, they would teach him how to administer those ketamine shots, do oh, you do it through shots? You don't do bumps? You snort it, dude. You snort it? Yeah. Man, this guy's really... <sighs> maybe maybe when you gotta take a heavy dosage, though. Yeah. Just maybe. I never did it through crazy. a shot. Yeah. Anything shot scary. I thought you have... That's how you do it. No, you no, take you, it, you, you snort it. You can snort it like cocaine. Because it's probably stronger. You That's probably the right way to do it. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so... But the junkie way to do it is you, you get the vials, and then you cook it. And you turn it into a powder form, and then you put it in the bag, and then you get like a little cute little bullet. It's really cool. You twist it, and it gets the exact amount, and then you take shots of that through, through you your know. nose. So the ketamine shots that are being administered to him, basically, this is how the uh, arrangement goes. They give him illegal uh, provisions of ketamine. The assistant, his personal assistant, will administer it to him. Wow. The, uh, during his last days, he was injecting six to eight times per day. Holy wow. shit. Uh, on oh. his very last day of life, Matthew Perry was asking his assistant to administer the third shot of the day, and he is quoted to have said, shoot me with a big one. After which the actor went to go relax in the hot tub, the assistant left to run errands, and upon returning, discovered Matthew Perry face down in the water dead. The assistant is one of the five people being charged in the Kenyan conspiracy, resulting in Matthew Perry's death. Because they weren't supposed to be, it's illegal to do this. Yeah. She was following orders. I don't think you should blame the assistant. Now? I don't think the assistant. No, because the assistant is like a tool. Yeah, right. but the you have the freedom of choice though. The network between the illegal uh, provision of it to the assistant right. to give it to him. Is that's the conspiracy. The ketamine guess, like conspir yeah. conspiratory function. It's like everyone involved in doing that to him is now being. I guess she has free will, but if this was medieval times, she would just be a servant. Yeah, but yeah. What, okay, so if she says no and she decides, you know what, this is not woman, right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. It's always a woman. But yeah. if, if, that person, if that person decides to refuse, that's her job now. She, or they're going to get fired right. like, or whatever. Well, that's like this, the doctor refused to, his initial doctor refused to provide him with ketamine. So yeah. he's out. So who's responsible? At what point does someone go, he needs help? Because if the assistant is the person that's going to buy illegal substances, they are going to be charged, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, let's say that like you have an assistant and you're like, get me some crack. Like, <clears> yeah. That's a good yeah. assistant. <laughs> They're putting their lives in danger to go get me some crack? Wow. Dang. But they should is, get a raise. It yep. is really sad that the people that were all like doing this for him were just like treating him like that. Like, I heard dang. that that's what happens yeah. in the world of Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that People is what they're surrounded saying. Surrounded by yes men, and I mean that's how Mr. Michael Jackson 
crap. Mr. Dude. Michael. <laughs> Mr. Michael. Also, though, like, he's paying a lot. A lot of times people would just, Dude, like, it's probably, transactional, yeah, you know? Yeah. It's immoral for sure, but it's also transactional. But isn't that the point where, like, because I know dealers that will stop selling to a person that's taking too much. Really? Yeah, it's normal. Yeah. You know some honorable well, dealers. I never, I no, never I know, knew that. I know people. Oh, yeah, because they don't want to get found out. Yeah. They're not, they're not legally, messy. you know what I mean? They're and people that are... People deserve to pay the price. Yeah, I think it's like, that's their mistake in their world too. It's like, you have to like, if you're the regular person giving it, then you can't... It's that, like the bar that cuts off the drunk. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. If plus, they OD, that comes back on you. Plus if you're like, dang, like, I wonder how much this moron's gonna pay or whatever. That's yeah. different from a text being like, why is he getting so much? Do you think he's wholesaling it? Yeah. yeah so <laughs> give a fuck about him. That's probably it. Because of that, it's the investigation itself that's like uncovering that, hey, the five of you took advantage of his condition yeah. to make money. Yeah. That's, right. that's why this is bad. Yeah. Agreed. It's not just your usual like, oh, we gave him ketamine. No, it's like you knew that he was weaning off of this drug and he was supposed to have small amounts in order for him to get better, but you made him worse by like allowing it to that's be different. Yeah. But even the assistance? Yeah. He, he, what, he even knew the dosage and everything? The what? What do you mean? Like the amount of dosage. Well, for sure, because if he's like, give me a big one, assistant needs to know what's a what big one. But the assistant was working in tandem with the providers in order yeah, to. They're like, enabling his yeah. bad behavior. The assistant wasn't working in the best interest of Matthew Perry, which is what mm. Matthew Perry's hiring them for. They're working in the interest of the person giving the ketamine. Yeah. Because that guy's like, hey, let's get more, let's get more to him, let's get more to him. Backstab. It's that. You know what I mean? Like, let's say, like, if you had a problem and I was like getting like help from this dude mm -hmm. and we were helping each other to keep you on that problem. Yeah. That's the concern. Because there's incentive pharma. for that. Yeah. Mm, exactly. Yeah. It's like, let me just keep getting like, you know, kickbacks <clears throat> to keep you on your drug when, you know, I should be your friend, I should be your assistant. Like, yeah. Dang. You know. Do we know if the assistant was getting kickbacks? Uh, it's it's to be assumed that they they were all working together. Oh, in oh okay. Yeah. Okay, but now. Then, of course it goes to court. But yeah, they're all being charged with conspiracy. That's just sad, man. Fuck, yeah. that sucks, dude. Like, he did, he wasn't even aware that that's what was it's going on. It's also sad because when we first heard this story and we covered it, it was like, oh, Matthew Perry died, they ruled it as drowning. And that was the end Conspiracy! Of that. Yeah. yeah. And then everything came out, and it's like, yeah. they've been drugging this dude up. He needed help. He needed to go to rehab. Yeah, and one of the people, one of the five, I think, is that person who's re reputably known as the ketamine queen. Uh oh, she's yeah. like a Hollywood ketamine provider. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, so she's wrapped in it too. How many actors and musicians have we lost to overdose? How many, how many, many, many musicians have we gotten great music from because of drugs? Yeah. <laughs> no. But we need to get them drugged up just enough, but like. Not well, that, that much. That's the case of the 80s rockers, right? Yeah. Because they're all still here. They're still here, but like, I feel crazy. like they survived AIDS. <laughs> like, look at Mick Jagger. Like, yeah. Or what was his face who just came back to Red Hot Chili Peppers, uh, the guitarist. Um, uh, well, Flea? Flea Rock? Really? Flea Rock? <laughs> Flea Rock, the B-boy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think like there is a... I guess, I guess also some people are predisposed to be able to handle more. You know? That's true. Sure. Not one size fits all. Right, exactly. And their mentality is probably like, they're strong enough to be like, nah, I'm good, you know? Or they yeah, know how knows, to moderate. Man. But then this definitely sucks if you're like, trying to get better and people are helping you get worse. It's yeah, pretty fucked. Yeah. For yeah, financial yeah, gain, yeah, like for damn. Sure. That sucks. They're, they're just like, helping themselves. Yeah, everyone's <laughs> helping themselves. Right. And then it's like, if you have a career that benefits from just keeping your like boss just happy even if it hurts them you know like maybe they don't even think like oh ketamine's gonna kill them it's just like oh just keep them happy just oh yeah you're boss. blinded by love yeah 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 what is the this is what this is what he wants I i'm wondering if you can actually overdose on ketamine because like he probably just just got fucked did. up and actually drowned because he couldn't yeah. control himself yeah, could be sure. he got in the k-hole like, because it says that yeah the k-hole it says that when he was um upon his death he had the same amount that someone would have for being on local anesthesia. So he fell asleep on it. So it would yeah. Be so he just, dude, he should just not have been in the hot tub, man. Would have been alive. Well, if you're in the hot tub too, yeah. your blood boils more. Ooh, that's kind of worse, actually. Okay. Is it? Dude, it's hot as fuck. Have you been in a sauna? Dude, yeah. it gets really, really hot. 
But that you think has a lower rate of survival to be on ketamine? Maybe because he's not. He wouldn't be drowning. Maybe. Oh. Maybe he should have just been watching TV on the couch. Yeah. Also, if you fall down on a sauna, it's hotter at the top. Mm -hmm. So you fall down, yeah. it gets a little cooler. And it cool down. True. Heat rise. <laughs>